Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install an electrical outlet into an existing circuit. All you need is one of these retrofit boxes, a 20 amp outlet, and somewhere to put it in. Right now we're gonna be doing this one on an island that we just got done redoing in our kitchen. I have electrical that comes up from the ground already. So I drilled a pilot hole from the inside so it didn't interfere with the drawers. And then I drew a level line so that I can then line up my old work box to then trace around. I'll put a link for this um, type of box in the description below, but all you have to do is trace around this. Then I will come back and drill some pilot holes in the corners so that I can then feed my jigsaw blade through. Then all you have to do is trace the outline. I'm gonna use this jigsaw here I put some tape around the outside to kind of help prevent the saw from scuffing the finish of the cabinet. But all you have to do is go corner to corner and it's cut out that simple. We'll do a little test fit to make sure that it's going to go in there and we don't need to take away any more material and it looks like it fits nice and tight. You can see here there's very minimal clearance and now all you have to do is tighten it down. These old work boxes are really cool. They work on the drywall, they work on these cabinets. And um, all you have to do, once you have it fitted in, turn the screws, it'll tighten up. And I'll show you here on the inside, the little tabs right there on these old work boxes pull up against the material and it secures the box. Then all we have to do is take our electrical that um, we have ran up through the ground already and just feed it back into the box. Make sure that you have your power off. Obviously, you don't want to do any electrical work without turning your power off. But once you get it fed through, you can take some of that slack out of the line and then you can go ahead and trim it to your liking. I like to usually leave it at about five or six inches to play with. You can then peel back the casing and then start securing your wires. You're gonna put the white on the neutral and you're gonna put the black on the hot side. And you can see here the little gold tab that connects the two terminals. It doesn't matter whether you put it in the top or the bottom terminal, as long as it's on the right side. If that tab's there, it's gonna power both outlets. And then once you're done with that, all you have to do is kind of make the wires nice and tidy and put them back into the box there and secure your outlet. Once you have your outlet secure, you're ready for your faceplate and you're all done. It can be just that simple. So now that we have everything done, we turn the breaker back on and we have power back in the island. We wanted to really get this outlet back in the island because you can run appliances there, you can um, charge your phones, whatever it is. But now that the kitchen's almost done, wanted to get this kind of stuff finished. If you have any other questions, let me know. I have other videos on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.